very good morning uh, my name is subbi i have already uploaded two videos regarding the ckvc bulk upload this file is uploaded uh, in 2019 and at that point of time it was version 1.1 now they have changed it to version 1.2 so in this uh, below this video i have given the link of that excel file hub to in that you have you can upload the data in case you are uh, this version is not working in your computer you can try this below version also because i have removed some enhancements like you know progress bar and everything so um, in this 51 minute file i have described all the data structure and everything so uh, in case you, you are watching my video for the first time i request you to watch this one first then only you will understand what i am explaining in this video also i have uploaded one more media video that is ckvc sftp data upload like you know uh, how you can upload data uh, up to 500,000 to 5,000 records at a time and i have explained uh, the uh, procedure and everything how to apply and everything it's a very simple procedure you can watch this video okay today i am going to discuss only what are the changes happened in version 1.2 Okay, very previously in version 1.1, uh, only individual data can be uploaded uh, in that uh, CKVC data upload. Now they have changed to this thing, mm, I mean uh, company and everything. So uh, you can see if, if, if you are uploading data like you know for individual you can do the uh, in this column as point zero 01. It should not be just a 1. I mean just a one it should be zero one please remember that and don't put any asterisk character in between it should be zero one only in case it is not happening you you can right click this uh, field and select the format cells option and you can make it as text and click ok and you type zero one it will accept it like that okay so in this also the last column is uh, what is the if you don't know what is the data structure uh, i mean the uh, basic nature of that uh, um, record so there is a field called r r means others none of the above if this is r then you should type it what type of company or what type of person it is that's all here this is the first change and another change is Mm, pan number mm, previously if you mm, provide a pan number here you should upload the pan card number also like you know you can see in my last video like mm, this is the uh, customer id of this customer so 2196 underscore poi like that we uploaded pan card number right now they are not accepting pan card as a id proof so you just type a pen number here that's all in case pen number is not available you just type here form 60 you don't need to upload uh, pen card to the ckvc uh, ck in the ckvc server you please keep uh, remembering these things pen card is not compulsory to upload you have to just type here another change that uh, is okay i mean in this set column uh, this uh, i have mentioned that if proof of identity and address is same as current like you know uh, the proof of identity and address is same then you should provide y here if you are providing no i mean capital no no here then you should type the details here i mean this is for the k thing communication address from this to this you have to update it if that address and uh, i mean communication and the present address is not same then you should where it is mm. Yeah, you should uh, type here no. Otherwise, you should type yes. That 
this is the one thing in this uh, file and another new field they have uploaded that is uh, correspondence uh, local address type zero one one means resident and business both are same zero two means it is only for residential zero three means it is only for business like that so you should do whatever the parameter here that is also not put as a single digit it should be zero two zero three zero four like that another change is uh, in the in my previous video i have mentioned that if you are providing pan number you should type two here and here it is three now uh, in version 1.2 pan number is not possible to upload so you should type this field all always one and two i did not remove these fields because maybe in the next version they will tell that you can upload a pan card and everything anyway right now that is why i am not removing this field here this is the another change so it should be always one and two another thing is uh, this ad and ae column uh, in this ad column previously in the previous video i told that you should mention pan card number here but in version 1.2 you don't need to mention pan card number again so you should write whatever the uh, address proof you are uploading like passport voter id driving license aadhar in case aadhar you should write e and the number if you uh, type the last four digit also no will it be fine because even if you type the full uh, aadhar number it will accept only the last four digit only i will take only the last four digit anyway so uh, these are the things you don't uh, and in the previous version you can see one um, expiry date also in case you are uploading passport and uh, driving license they have removed that also um, so even if that uh, id is expired today still you can upload the data another one is kyc verification date that means when you verify or when you uh, sorry i mean when you uh, registered the customer like that that date will come here and uh, yeah id proof this you should keep it as blank this to this field is not compulsory right now it is not compulsory but maybe they will uh, change it uh, some changes may come later that is why i am not removing it anyway another one is this new field mm, that means whatever the documents you are uploading you should mention what type of document it is if it is 01 it should be certified copies otherwise e c k y c data received from uh, other data received from offline verification so many fields are there here so uh, if you keep it as blank it won't accept the data so i ha i have mentioned as a minimum criteria that is certified copies because you are registering a customer after verifying verifying the kyc physically at least this is again uh, for the same thing here you should type e the same way if it's other you should type 04 i have mentioned here 04 passport 05 uh, driving license 06 and voter id 07 here is also they have removed the expiry date because uh, uh, whatever uh, in case um, the date is expired also you can upload the data this field i already explained if uh here k k this thing i mean this thing if you are providing uh r here r in this field then you should uh, type the institution name and uh, this field also what type what nature of uh, details you are uploading like name of the entity in incorporation and those details up to uh, i think up to here up to um, up to here okay these fields okay these are the changes uh, which uh, happened in test bit version 1.2 i will show you the folder also because in this uh, third one uh, i have mentioned pan card number here but in the 2196 folder um, 
219 is all folder i have mentioned only two fields one photo and one poa poi is not there please keep it in mind and let us run it mm. tools view macro run it, i have mentioned three so it should be three only This I mentioned it is without the progress bar. So you don't know how much data is processing in the backend and everything. That is the only difference. It is completed so you can upload the data. Uh, this is without the progress bar. I'm just saving it. And another one is uh, with the progress. So like you know you when you are uploading 500 data you should know where it has been reached where, what is the status of the progress so for that uh, you can use this one uh, here is also i have given two options if you are uploading data for sftp you can select this one and for bulk upload you can select uh, this option even if uh, this enhancement version is not working also I have what is the difference between bulk upload and SFTP? SFTP you can upload 500 data, 1000 data like that. For bulk upload you can do only a 95, 96 record in a single batch. So uh, even if uh, you did not use this enhancement version also, I have generated that SF, uh, TRG file for uh, this thing. So this TRG file is for SFTP that I have explained in that SFTP video, you can watch that. And for bulk upload, you can uh, 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 upload only this file. In this uh, version, I will show you if you provide, uh, mm, I mean three, then you can see how much, uh, where you have reached. Everything you can see in this progress bar. That is the only difference. Hope you understood uh, uh, how to uh, upload data uh, for test bed and, uh, um, and the live session. Uh, this is the third. Uh, mm, yeah, this file is created. Uh, this file is created right now for three because that uh, TRG is not generated because um, we have selected bulk upload. That is why. Okay. If you generate again, uh, okay. And uh, I am uploading one more file because most of the people getting error like, you know, district is not matching. So when you are uploading, please, and I can do a cross-checking in this, uh, in my Excel, but I won't do that. Like an example, like, you know, you, suppose you are, uh, I'm uploading my, this thing, my native place pin code. So, just a second. It's a lengthy file, that's why it is not um, working properly, I think. I think. Let me search one. This is my uh, what we call my uh, my district name. So for for in this database, this is the database uh, received from no not this way. I think Trichur. Let me search T H R I S S U R here T. Suppose you are uploading a data with the district name as Trichu, you can use this much uh, pin codes in that uh, Trichu district. How much numbers are there? 197. Suppose this is 680771. If you are putting 772, it won't accept the data. It will reject because according to them, whatever the uh, whatever the district master they have. If any change, they will reject the data because they will give you an error like, you know, a district uh, pin code is not matching with the district what you mentioned. 
sometimes what happening you are uploading data properly with as per the uh, aadhar card or whatever but they won't accept the data because according to their database it, uh, for that particular district it is different pin code so in that scenario you just uh, mm, i mean uh, my suggestion is that you just forgot about whatever the pin code mentioned in that id you should prefer uh, i mean uh, you should prefer whatever the pin code from here mm, that that way we do right now so i am uploading this uh, district master also in that download session so you can uh, uh, download it from there or you, this is the same thing i downloaded from the uh, ckvc website you can do that also because they keep updating this file every day okay that's all hope you enjoy the video you uh, in case any doubt please let me know otherwise please like and subscribe my channel thank you